so i think that um if you want to truly know what is beautiful you first need to look within if your standard of beauty is completely beside yourself it's completely outside of who you are you'll never be satisfied in who you are let me say that again if your standard of beauty is completely outside of who you are you will never you never see yourself as beautiful you never be content with who you are because for a lot of us beautiful in god's sight doesn't really mean much it has to be beautiful in your sight too but that takes an understanding of the wonder that god has placed in you <music> this video if you're into this channel my name is Moyo and you're so welcome to she Bites. I make videos all about food faith and lifestyle and I have a lot of videos for you to check out if you have not already so I'm so excited for you to check out all the content I have on this channel so um, yesterday actually I did a post on my Instagram all about body image and I thought that that should be the topic of today's bites of faith when it comes to body I think the number one verse that Christians like to use is found in Corinthians and it says that your body is a temple of God. Let me get out the verse. So it is first, first Corinthians chapter 6 verse is from verse 19 to 20. And it says, don't you realize that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God. You do not belong to yourself for God bought you with a high price. So you must honor God with your body. Whenever I read this verse, I remember Lecrae's book, Restoration, where he said that when he read this verse, it, that was something that really shook him to his core about the way that he had been living his life because he understood that actually God had done so much for him, for his body, to honor him and to essentially he was bought with a high price i.e he's so valuable that god saw the need to buy him therefore he was bought back and he didn't have to continue living the life that he was living and that was super significant for him when i read this verse though it just speaks to me that um when i hear the whole temple thing what really speaks to me is god's dwelling place because when we think about temples think about that's where god is that's where god lived in the old testament if you wanted to speak with god if you wanted to have an encounter with god you had to go to the temple so if we say we are the temple of god don't you know that you are the temple of god that means that i am god's dwelling place god's living place god's temple this has so many implications and ramifications when it comes to health when it comes to exercise when it comes to diet but i really want to talk about it relating to body image if we truly believe that our bodies are temples of god then we have to treat them as such what do we mean like temples are valued they are adorned they are treated well they are respected they are loved they are appreciated for what they are there's many different kinds of temples all over the world with different levels of significance and they are all revered and treated well so how come we take our bodies and treat them like they're rubbish they're nonsense they're annoying they are limiting why do we not look at our bodies and understand the wonder the glory that god has placed within us that god saw it fit to buy us with a high price i think it's also significant because so many times when we talk about spirituality we're talking about the soul the spirit but this verse is talking about the body because the corinthian church was living in a lot of like sexual immorality a lot of they were doing kind of a lot of sins that they were taking part in a lot of things that were kind of sins against their own body and so paul had to like break it down for them and say actually your body matters to god your body is valuable to god and then i also think that when it comes down to for example things like genes people have different kinds of genetic dispositions that determine their body shape some people you know there's just so many different kinds of pair of so many different kinds of body shapes. There's so many different kinds of pear shape. See me out see myself. There's so many different kinds of body shapes out there. And each one of them brings glory to God. That's what we need to understand. It doesn't mean that um I also think that you know different kinds of body shapes require you know different kinds of things. You should eat different ways, you should exercise, you reach your goals. But understanding the fact that your body shape, the way that God created you, the way that God has structured you is not by mistake, is not by chance. But it's actually intentional to him and i think one thing that can really help you also see significance is when you also understand the genetic, the genetic or historical power um house that you are like being able to look back to generations and generations and see that who you are has been kind of like a sum of so many different things coming together in such an intentional way that can also give us confidence and hope in who we are 
I also think that in the Eurocentric world that we live in, um, certain standards of beauty have been promoted over others, certain shapes, certain weight, certain blah 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 have been promoted as better than others. And don't get me wrong, I think there's something so important to being healthy, but that's kind of not what um, the media is promoting to us as what is beautiful. So I think that um, if you want to truly know what is beautiful, you first need to look within. If your standard of beauty is completely beside yourself, is completely outside of who you are, you will never be satisfied in who you are. Let me say that again. If your standard of beauty is completely outside of who you are, you will never, you will never see yourself as beautiful. You will never be content with who you are because all your standards are things you can never meet up to. If the person that you think of as your standard of beauty doesn't have anything in common, I mean, okay, all human beings have something in common, but is ever so different from the who that you are, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to find satisfaction in who you are. And I think one of the greatest, greatest words of advice that I think is super significant for body image is finding the beauty in you. It's going to save you a lot of stress and strife and confusion. Because as long as you're looking for beauty outside of yourself, you will not be content. God bought you with a high price. He sees you, who you are, how you're made as beautiful, valuable, precious. Not just your inside, not just your spirit, not just your soul, but your body also. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I just think it's so significant that the God of the universe has been so intentional in creating us. And he sees each and every body type, each and every frame, each and every big leg, small leg, um, whatever, like whatever colloquial language you can even use to call it. You know, they used to say yam leg, this one leg, when we were growing up, like whatever, whatever kind of body you have, you know, where you have oozes and oars and where you have flaps and whatever, it is all beautiful in God's sight. And I think that's a great encouragement because if it's beautiful in God's side, then you need to work on making it beautiful in your own sight. Because for a lot of us, beautiful in God's side doesn't really mean much. It has to be beautiful in your sight too, but that takes an understanding of the wonder that God has placed in you. So, I would like to encourage you to actually believe that word of God that says that don't you know that your bodies are a temple. Temples are precious, temples are revered, temples are seen as beautiful, amazing. It doesn't matter what society has said about you. It doesn't matter what people have said knowingly or knowingly about you. It doesn't matter what those side comments are. You know how Nigerians are? Hey, hey, what are you eating? Uh uh, oh girl, why are you losing weight? What did you do? She be down on the YouTube channel goes on when he, when he did a video. They were saying, What are you doing? Why are you losing so much weight? Like, don't let other people tell you <laughs> how you should be or what you should do because you're going to be continually disappointed. Find beauty from inside of you and do not be afraid or ashamed of your beauty. Be bold enough to stand up as another standard if no one else sees you as that. So that is my little encouragement for today. I pray that God give us the strength to truly see the beauty he's placed within us. And I am so glad you watched this video to this point. If you've liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. And I hope to see you in my next video in the next episode of Bites of Faith. I hope to see you in my next video and the next episode of Bites of Faith next week. Bye guys. Thank you for watching.